Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you saw my previous video, you would know that I received a 6S charger instead of the 7S charger that I ordered for my custom lithium battery that I am building for the hacked big motor Razer E300. However, today I'm thinking of putting the 6S charger to use by building a 6S battery pack using the Vruzen modular system for 18650 lithium cells. And what am I going to do with it? I'm going to put it in one of my Razer E200s. So building these 18650 holders using the Vruzen kit really is like Lego. You simply outline the, the individual caps and you slide them together in the formation that you want to do. You can see, just slide them together. And you keep sliding them together. Now, you don't have to do it with the colors like I've done here, but I've chosen to do it with these colors uh, so that it's easier for me to see the configuration of the battery pack that I intend to make. A bit of a trick is to make sure you've got them in the same orientation as you're going down. So you've got the top and the top and an in inlay and an inlay. And then you can see that as you get the parallel branches, you can just push them together like that. So you really can make a pack. So for example, this one here that I quickly put together would be one, two, three, four S, assuming that you're having them Orient, the battery's orientated uh, like like this, so it'll be 4S by 2, 4, 6, 7P. Or if you suddenly decide you want a 3S, you simply would pull it apart. And then you'd have the 3S battery. Of course, if you were making a 3S battery, you would simply uh, um, probably do a, a blue, red, blue. Then you'd have a bottom and a top. And you can see if you were doing a negative and positive, a negative and positive, a negative and positive, simply like that. So because we have a 6S lithium charger for the Razer E200, we're gonna build a 6S 8P battery pack. And you can see here I've outlined the Vruzen cap, so I've got a base plate in a 6S 8P configuration. And then you start putting the 18650 cells in. What I've chosen to do is to put the negative end of the cell onto the blue and the positive end of the cell onto the red. It really is easy. And as you can see, I had a little helper and I simply gave the instructions and away they went. And here is the completed uh, battery pack with the bottom pack with all of the cells in the pattern, which I told them to do. Now, then you start by putting the Vruzen caps onto the uh, top side of the pack. What I've found is it's really easier if you have them in uh, single um, strips and if you put those strips on one at a time as you go across the battery pack. So there it is, the first stage of the assembled battery pack using the Vruzen system. You can see that I have the Vruzen end caps on both sides of the battery and I have set it up for a 6S 8P configuration with the parallel banks of eight batteries alternating in polarity orientation to put six banks in series. 
Before I install the nickel bus bars, I will use my multimeter to check the voltage contact coming through each cell's end caps, just to make sure that every cell has good contacts. The next stage is installing the nickel bus bars. What we will do is create the parallel banks that are in the vertical orientation and then in the horizontal orientation you will see that we create three pairs on this side of the pack. When we flip the battery over, we will create a different pattern in the horizontal orientation where we will leave the two end parallel banks without any horizontal connectors. Upon checking the battery voltage of the pack, I was disappointed to see the voltage much lower than my expected 25.2 volts with fully charged cells. However, after a little testing, I quickly realised that the mistake, which some of you may have spotted earlier, is that I did not put the positive connection at the very end of the series layout of cells. Clearly, the battery connections need to be on the two parallel banks that are not connected to another parallel bank. I must say, that learning this now with a Verizon build makes correcting this issue very easy. So with the battery reading just over 25 volts, it was time to hook it up to the 6S lithium charger. So we've got our Verzund 6S 8P battery installed in the old Razer E200. It's fully charged up at a bit over 25.2 volts. And we're down here, we're gonna give it a bit of a test ride. We're gonna see how it actually goes. Yep. The lithium powered Razer E200 with the 6S configuration of Verzun. What do you reckon? Good. You notice I don't have the deck on the scooter and that's because with these Verzun battery packs you can, they actually ha add additional height so ideally really would want to just use your own custom-made frames using the 3d printer but this is a bit of a prototype because we had this 6s charger thought you know what let's give it a go see how it goes I'm thinking the next thing we'll do is we'll actually make up a little 7s pack out of batteries that we've just charged individually and do a side-by-side -side comparison in the exact same scooter. Do a 6S versus 7S comparison. Running a 7S pack with the stock regulator and motor. Of course, the 7S will be pushing out you know, 29.6 volts at maximum charge instead of 25.2, so a slight overvolt for the 24 volt controller, but I think that will be fine. 
So I thought I'd do just a quick test of the voltage. Been riding for about five minutes and you can see that the battery pack now has dropped down to 24.92 volts. So the useful range of this pack will be 25.2 volts down to 22.2 volts. So 24.95 after five minutes of riding, that is pretty good. So we're gonna ride this. We'll see uh, how long we can ride it for. We don't have a BMS on this pack, so we'll just be monitoring every five minutes or so the voltage of the pack. So there you go, that's the 6S 8P lithium pack made from free salvaged 18650 batteries in the stock Razer E200 scooter. What we found is that the performance of the scooter does appear to be better than the original lead acid batteries with not only better acceleration and speed, but it also now goes up hills better. With respect to runtime, because I don't have a BMS on this pack, we only ran it for about an hour but it was still well above the minimum 22.2 volts for a 6S pack. So I'm also really impressed with the runtime from this pack. Given I've got more of these Burzon caps lying around, I think that what should come next is a 7S built with fully charged cells, and then a video to compare a 6S to the 7S packs in the stock Razer E200. If this is something that you want to see, then do hit the subscribe button to make sure you don't miss it. Finally, if you've liked the video, don't forget to like and comment below.